welcome to weekly forex podcast from forex trading wizard academy this is forex wizard trading coach i'll be doing a complete multi time frame analysis of all the hottest currency pairs cryptocurrencies and indices that you will be looking to trade next week the list is a bit longer as usual but don't worry i'll put a time stamp in the description area but i'll suggest you to watch all of them as you have seen in my previous weekly forex podcast most of the pairs did exactly according to the analysis as this is the last week of the month there will be a monthly and weekly close together as you can see the market is already trending and we have uh, passed an incredible trading week as usual we are looking forward to have another great trading week so with that being said let's see how we can trade in the upcoming week in this volatile situation now before i begin this weekly forex podcast make sure guys you smash the like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't done yet with that being said let's begin this week's weekly forex podcast <laughs> Okay, traders so let's begin with first of all dxy as dxy will give us a clear direction of all the usd pairs that are upcoming so starting with first of all bigger picture in this market monthly why because monthly weekly or higher time frame will give you a clear direction in the market removing all the noise from the lower time frame and then we can look at the lower time frame for suitable entry opportunity in the market now dxy from the monthly perspective we can see that this market there is a monthly impulse followed by this correction if we take our fibonacci from the starting of this impulse to the end of the impulse we see that dxy has just been retraced up to 38.2 percent fibonacci level almost there and then immediately rejected to the downside the sign that dxy may prepare for another drop to the downside as an impulse correction we can expect another impulse and at the same time we see that this current monthly candle has broken this three months long trend line to the upside grab liquidity and then closed back again to the support level now from this monthly support from this opening and closing we saw the dxy initially now has a bounce now with that bounce what i think that this week the market might go a little to the upside and then may continue to drop to even break this level of support to continue its long term downtrend now if i look at the weekly we can see that the market showing significant bearish price action now back to back quite a few weeks the the weekly forex forecast you have seen that exactly the market did exactly as it is we have seen that there's a doji and then predicted to drop and did that now this month this week also the price was expected to drop and the price did exactly as it is now with that weekly drop we see the dxy has formed in fact a double top in this uh, higher time frame and then created this move what i think now there are two zones that we can look at for dxy for further drop as what is dropping is likely to drop that's the law of trading now if we draw this support level on the weekly on dxy we see that this is the support zone below this doji is a quite significant level as this doji on the weekly has crossed the high it has a huge liquidity in it and also this is the support of this doji now there is one level this one there is another one that we can expect dxy to respect is this this is the below bottom of this weekly handle now these are the two levels that you will be looking for a potential selling opportunity on the lower time frame now if i look at daily we can see that the market already the last day of trading week has closed with this daily candle which is also bullish candle as you can see this daily candle has a week at the top and also week at the bottom has a healthy body so because the market has made a move created a pullback it will try to keep take another move to the upside and i think that highly likely dxy if we look at the horizontal level which is a high area of value with this support here support here which is down resistance here and what i think that dxy might continue to drop from that level and initially in the beginning of trading we might see dxy is going up to test this level 
and from here from the lower time frame we could see the dxy is coming down now this is the daily chart let's look at the fibonacci as well we saw that there is a move start from here if we place the fibonacci from the starting of this move to the end of the move we can see the dxy in fact exactly aligning with this level with 61.8 percent fibonacci and with that fibonacci we can expect along with the daily 20 ema DS, dxy to go ahead and test this level and then continue to drop to its long term see that the market has formed an inverted head and shoulder and then created this move to the upside now it is in a pullback on the lower time frame but i think that we could see another spike to the upside exactly to the level that we have expected and along this zone we will be looking for a further price action if we see the price is doing exactly according to the plan in that situation we'll be considering going short on dxy with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at GBP USD as usual looking at monthly first of all now GU as you can see from the monthly the price has broken all this monthly support and created this impulse to the upside now with that impulse we have seen from this resistance primarily a drop now with the drop what I think this week we might see a little further drop and then could continue to rise on the monthly perspective now if we look at weekly we can see that gbp usd has formed a price section which is still looking like that it is still bullish now we see that there is a, a huge liquidity grab on the weekly on gbp usd from the support it has broken a very important weekly support level now if we draw this uh, support we can see that this market was respecting this support the price has broken to the upside with this dodgy followed by a middleman on the weekly now this week we have seen a shooting star has been formed now this shooting star has formed on a gap level with a long week at the top what i think that the market might initially come back down either breaking this low of the weekly or without breaking the low respecting this we could see a bullish move and gbp usd and as you will see that on dxy there is a probability initially to go up and then come down we could see completely mirror on gbpusd initially drop and then could continue to rise on the higher time frame now looking at daily now this is the daily chart we can see that gbpusd was forming this bullish market structure with this big liquidity grab from this weekly support and daily support gbpusd has created this movement followed by this correction and another movement now it is in another correction phase now this is also a bullish structure when you see a market doing that we can expect the price initially to break to the upside we have seen already grab liquidity now it is highly likely that it will break to the downside and then will continue its long-term uptrend now if we draw the support based on the weekly one is here the weekly opening and closing the other one is here which is the weekly low what i think that gbp usd might break this low to this level from the weekly support you could see that gbp usd is again going to be bullish now from the intraday we can see that gu already has made a move followed by a narrow correction in the new trading week what i think that gu will try to have another move now with that move we could see that gbp usd has broken this support level here this is the support here support here breaking this local structure local mar market structure grabbing liquidity from here we could see that gbp usd is going up so as soon as we will find suitable entry opportunity for the long trading opportunity on gbp usd we'll consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at nzd jpy looking at monthly now from the monthly we can see that nzd jpy already has made a move to the downside there's a big drop followed by two narrow dodgy again we have seen on the monthly another big monthly candle and what i think that after a little pullback we could see this market is dropping now if i look at the weekly we can see that nzd jpy from the weekly perspective also bears there is a long liquidity grab created this move to the downside consolidation on the daily and weekly we saw again another drop this is the weekly candle which is already below all 
this weekly level of support if we draw this support we can expect mzdjpy to continue to drop now if i look at the daily we can see that this market has a big drop correction and then the price was following this channel on the lower time frame we can see that the market currently has broken out of this channel now with that breakout the price is in in the support zone what we will be waiting on the lower time frame to see another pullback to the resistance level now if i look at the four hour we can see that already nzdjpy has created this big move now it is in a pullback phase we will be waiting for a little more push to the upside especially along this support zone which is turning resistance along with this 20 ema we'll be considering going short on nzdjpy with a high probability trade setup now let's look at gbp chf looking at monthly now from the monthly perspective we can see that gbp chf primarily on the monthly has a big drop now the price again almost reaching the monthly resistance zone in this opening and closing and from here we can expect another move now looking at the weekly we can see that there is already the price has grabbed liquidity from this resistance zone created this big weekly pain bar and this pain bar already as you have seen it has crossed this long dodges high that means that this weekly candle on jbp chf has a, a strong liquidity in it and we could see this market is just melting to the downside now if i look at the daily we can see that there is already this this is a completely manipulative move to the upside on jbp chf uh, if we draw this resistance line we can see the market was respecting this resistance you can see there is resistance the price created this move again has gone there created this move so every time the price was reaching that creating a big move now we saw that the market has penetrated that level grab liquidity and now we see this market is preparing for drop what i think that in the near trading we, we might see a little big move to the upside grabbing liquidity completing you know a strong impulse correction impulse and with that impulse we could see gbp chf is coming down now if we look at this price section here we see that this market is respecting this support and the price is moving along this channel now with that channel what we could see on gbp chf as we are expecting this price to test this level we could see some movement to the upside initially to this resistance zone and from here we can expect gbp chf to continue to drop so this is the zone that we will be waiting for a potential selling opportunity in the beginning of trading week as soon as we will find we will consider going short on gbp chf with a high probability trade setup now let's look at aussie yen looking at monthly now from the monthly we can see that aussie yen has formed a strong bearish price trend. there's a big drop there was an impulse correction it is in another impulsive phase and we could see that aussie yen is continuing to drop and i think as you can see there's a big red candle this week we might see some initial pullback to the upside and then we could see this market is dropping again now if i look at the weekly we see that there is already a movement happen on the weekly and what i think this is that you can see this weekly candle is in fact a bearish candle there's a long week you can see there's also a long week here with a healthy body what i think the price might respect this support below this middleman's support as a resistance and we could see this market is coming down now if i look at the daily we can see that all the yen from the daily there is already a big liquidity a big drop followed by a middleman uh, previous day of trading week and then we saw that there is a big drop happen here with this bearish candle and i think that the market after testing some some level to the upside we could see another move to the downside now this is the intraday perspective as you can see this is also the last friday's trade that we closed with profit on aussie yen now let's see where we can find trading opportunity as you can see the price already created a strong resistance with this middleman here what i think in the new trading we, we might see initially a movement to the upside highly likely the price might break this resistance or respecting this resistance we could see potential selling opportunity on aussie yen so as soon as we will find suitable entry we will consider going short with a high probability trade setup with our students.
Now let's look at AUD and ZD. Looking at monthly, now from the monthly perspective, we can see that AUD and ZD is highly bearish. We have seen there is a big clean impulse followed by this correction. We have seen another impulse on the monthly, and this is the monthly candle. We would say after a little pullback, this market is dropping down. Now, if I look at the weekly, we can see that there is a big impulse already happened. The previous week has formed a shooting star. Now, closely look at that, we see that this uh, GBP, pardon me, AUD and ZD shooting star on the weekly is has formed in this weekly level of support. And we see that this market might have another, initially we might see another bullish move to the upside as this is a bullish candle there is a strong bullish move happen on the weekly perspective has closed here and the next one we might see bulls will try to make another push to the upside now with that push we could see that AUD and ZD is going up to test this zone where there is a 20 EMA or below this support below this dodgy and from that zone we could see AUD and ZD is coming down now if I look at the daily we can see that this market is trying to create a short-term bullish move. After long consolidation, the price grabbed liquidity multiple times from the top, but it it failed to create a new lower, lower low. As you can see, failed to create this break this support. So we could see some stronger movement to the upside for a bigger liquidity. In a UD and ZD, you could see that this market is pushing high as NZ is very weak. Now we see that from the intraday perspective the price was consolidating along the zone forming a double bottom formation so as the trend is still down we will be cautious when we will if there is any bullish trading in this market but at the same time we see in the intraday there is a lower higher low has been created so with that higher low creation any kind of violation of this level to the downside we will consider going long on AUD and ZD from this zone with a high probability trade setup with our students. Okay, so let's look at AUD USD. Looking at first of all monthly perspective. Now from the monthly, we can see that AUD USD there has been a previous month a long bearish and golfer. Now this month so far we have seen that after little retracement to the upside, again AUD USD is slowly dropping as we see the DXY. Initially, we could see a bullish and then bearish. Similarly, AUD USD initially could be bearish, and later we could see that bullish in this month in the last week. If we look at the weekly, we can see that AUD USD has done exactly as it is as the previous week. Now, we can see that there was a big drop followed by this correction. Now, this week also we have seen again bullish movement created this movement what i think that AUD USD is likely to do as with the strengthening of dxy we might say AUD USD could drop below this level where there is a weekly candle on the weekly and then could continue to rise on the weekly perspective so with that being said if i look at the daily time frame we can see that already AUD USD on the daily has broken this local trend line on the daily perspective the price grab liquidity from two days high created a lower high on the daily long dodges and the price has broken down now let's look at further lower time frame to see how the price is doing we can see that AUD EUSD in fact has formed a intraday head and shoulder the price has broken down back to back to narrow dodges here what I think that as you can see the price already has made a move correction we can expect another move breaking this low where there is the weakless candle on the weekly and then we could see that AUD USD again turning to be bullish so in the meantime as soon as we will see any kind of suitable selling opportunity on AUD USD we will consider going short with a high probability trade setup and then we will determine what we will be doing after the price is coming down here giving us a suitable again price action for a bullish move now let's look at 
euro chf looking at monthly now from the monthly perspective we can see that euro chf there has been a big drop this month though this is a long-term bearish market quite a few months significant pull back to the upside now looks like that euro chf now preparing for another drop as historically price action is always prominent in the market now if you look at the weekly we can see that euro chf already has formed a bearish price action this is the resistance line that euro chf on the weekly is being respected resistance here resistance here resistance here now we see that there is a long dodgy on the weekly time frame with the dodgy what we can expect the price to go ahead and test this level and then to continue to drop now if i look at daily time frame on euro chf we see that there is a daily double top formation here now with the double top the price has completely broken down from this double top with this daily bearish angle for euro chf has formed this pattern now what we can expect when we see a double top formation the price to break down and then test this previous support as a resistance and then we can expect euro chf to continue to drop now if i look at further lower time frame we can see that the price has formed a nice looking reversal here and there is a strong liquidity grab with this long bearish engulfer what i think in the beginning of trading week we could see a pull back to the upside again to complete this pattern to test this previous support here support here as a resistance along with this 20 ema and with this bearish and golfer as soon as we will find suitable entry opportunity on euro chf we'll consider going short with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at euro gbp looking at monthly now from the monthly we see that euro gbp after back to back two months long dodgy this month the price has come back down here and then now it is slowly forming a dodgy now this candle may not give you a full information which where the market might move is, is still a dodgy let's look at the weekly now from the weekly we can see that euro gbp has formed also a half week half body candle now this candle is a bearish still why because if you closely look at it, you see there's a long dodgy on the weekly a big long dodgy followed by a bearish candle followed by we can see another long week candle what i think that in the beginning of new trading week after a little retracement we could see that euro gbp again coming back to this level of support now if i look at the daily we can see that euro gbp on the daily time frame is respecting this resistance line we saw there was a strong liquidity gap here and then break again the price has gone up break that has broken this resistance line now the price is slowly coming back down what i think that if i look at further lower time frame like the euro chf we see that euro gbp has formed a nice looking head and shoulder breakdown retest of the neck when of this previous support as a resistance and we can expect another rejection to the downside so as soon as we will find suitable entry along the zone on euro gbp will consider going short with a high probability trade setup now let's look at euro jpy looking at the monthly now from the monthly perspective we can see that euro jpy is showing a very strong bearish price section the price has broken this resistance line here and we saw that on the monthly the price created a big move to the downside now if i look at the weekly we can see that weekly perspective as well back to back every week the price was creating a long bearish candle this week also the price has formed a dodgy which is also bearish as it is a long week candle means the sellers has sold this market aggressively to the downside now if i look at the daily we can see that euro jpy has formed a typical bearish price action there's a strong drop on the daily corrected to the liquidity zone and on this resistance line and from this resistance we see that euro jpy now respecting this level what i think that in the new trading week the price might go ahead and test this level and then continue has formed a double top here along this zone with the double top the price has broken down highly likely the price will go ahead and test this level this previous support down resistance now if i draw this level here we can see that this is the support here which is turning resistance and from that zone we can expect the price to continue 
to drop so as soon as you will find a retest of this level that previous resistance support and resistance will consider going short on euro jpy with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at euro aud looking at monthly now from the monthly perspective we can see that euro aud so far this is a very very strongly bullish market this is the monthly candle that is staying above all this resistance zone now let's look at weekly to see what it is doing now from the weekly we see that there is a strong bullish angle for has formed now the, there is a big impulse starting from here impulse correction now it is in another impulsive phase what i think that as this is the weekly candle closed we could see another effort from the bulls either we could see a strong move to the upside or immediate rejection and to create another drop so let's see which one is likely to happen now if i look at the daily on euro aud what i see that euro aud primarily as you can see there is a big daily impulse has formed a dodgy what i think we might see euro aud is continuing to the downside there is a as you can see on the daily the price has respected this resistance line back to back three times daily candle has respected and we could see this market may continue to drop now what i think that euro aud is likely to do as you can see the price already made this impulse with this long dodgy has come to this level created a pullback we might see a little more sideways movement and then slowly we could see that euro aud is coming back down as you can see that there is a, a double bottom formation here the price has aggressively has gone to the upside the market left an imbalance in this zone where there is a previous resistance here resistance here which turns support has not been tested properly so you could see that euro aud along this zone dropping to this previous resistance turn support so as soon as you will find another rejection on the resistance we'll consider going short on euro aud with a high probability trade setup now let's look at euro nzd looking at monthly now from the monthly we can see that euro nzd also showing a strong bullish momentum on the monthly perspective now if i look at the weekly we see that the price has done the same price section as that euro aud as this is a bullish market monthly and weekly as i mentioned we could see either a break to the upside is strong or we could see this market again coming back down but we see that nzd is weaker than aud so even euro aud may go sideways or moving down we could see euro nzd remaining bullish now looking at the daily this price action is we see that significantly bullish we see that euro nzd has formed this double bottom created this impulse to the upside has corrected to this level where there is the previous resistance here resistance here which is turning support what i think that in the new trading week we could see initially another drop to this 20 em on the daily or the previous resistance turn support and from that zone we could see euro nzd again forming a bullish price section so with that being said from the lower time frame as you can see the price is forming a structure that is that is in a sideway so what i will be happy to go long if i see that euro nzd has broken down to this level and then grab liquidity from this zone giving a strong reversal from here we'll consider going long on euro nzd with a high probability trade setup now let's look at cad jpy looking at monthly perspective from the monthly we can see that cad jpy is currently strongly bearish we, we see that this is a historically long-term bull market starting from here impulse correction and we saw consolidation another impulse form and head and shoulder and has completely broken down this is the impulse that we have seen followed by this correction now it is in another impulsive phase now we saw that there's a big drop happen on cat jpy now with this monthly drop what i think that as you can see there is a previous resistance zone here on the monthly on cat jpy which is the swing high i think that this market slowly will drop will break this low grab liquidity and from this zone we could see bullish move so there is still high probability for cat jpy 
to continue to drop now if i look at the weekly we can see back to back four weeks from this resistance created this strong movement to the downside created a lower low now in this in this down trending market we see the weekly also on cat jpo is bearish now let's see from the daily how the price action might do now from the daily we see that cat jpy after creating a head and shoulder here has created this movement to the downside now with this movement we saw the market is moving along this channel and this is the channel that we can see that cat jpy has rejected and already the price tested this support still the price inside the channel what i will be waiting for the price to go ahead and test the resistance of this channel and then to continue to drop now if i look at further lower time frame like all the jpy pairs you can see there was a, a big drop happened last year of trading week and we saw a pullback there's a dodgy here what i think in the near trading we might see another movement to the upside testing this resistance level probably will create a higher low with this and from that zone we could see that cat jpy creating another movement to the downside so as soon as we will find suitable entry opportunity along this zone on cat jpy will consider going short with a high probability trade setup now let's look at gbp jpy looking at monthly now from the monthly perspective we can see that gbp jpy also currently strongly bearish market now we saw that this market from bigger picture perspective there is a head and shoulder has been created this is the head and shoulder and the price was respecting this dynamic resistance on the monthly there is a head left shoulder and this is the right shoulder now with that head and shoulder we saw this month the price has strongly broken to the downside now if i look at the weekly we can see that when a few weeks back to back the price was in a choppy market but at the same time with a bearish flavor in it we see that every week the price was creating series of lower high and at the same time it is creating bearish candle what i think that this market will continue to drop at least we could see another attempt for the price to break this weekly candles this is the support of this weekly candle now if i look at daily we can see that already the price has formed this daily bearish candle this is the daily candle which already half week half body what i think the price might test this resistance and then could continue to drop now if i look at on the intraday like all the jpy pairs we see that the market has formed a typical head and shoulder has broken down to this level the price now is going up for a pullback i will be waiting for this price to create this level where there is the head and shoulder support here support here which is turning resistance here uh, as soon as we will find suitable entry opportunity on the retest of this previous neckline of this support as resistance we will consider going short on gbp jpy with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at euro cad looking at monthly now from the monthly perspective we can see that euro cad is a monthly strongly bullish market but at the same time we see this market already reached a significant resistance level we can expect now a pullback now let's look at on the weekly now from the weekly we can see that euro cad is bullish now this weekly candle is significantly bullish as you can see the price was creating series of higher low along this zone and there is a weekly candle that has a long week at the top and also a healthy body at the bottom we could see after little retracement another attempt from the buyers for the price to continue to rise now if i look at the daily perspective we can see that this market already created this movement now the price is correcting to this level now what we can expect what i think that initially we might see another drop to this liquidity zone where there is a daily 20 m and doji and from this zone we could see that euro cad again going bullish now from the intraday perspective we can see that this market is slowly breaking down creating a smaller candles smaller digits and red big red candles that means that we could see further rejection to the downside as we expected on the daily the price to continue to drop so once you will see a significant pullback along the zone 
as this market not giving any clear direction where it might come to pull back once you see that the price has again started its move especially along this daily liquidity zone where there is a daily 20 ema will be considering going long on euro CAD with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at dollar yen let's see how it is doing now looking at monthly now from the monthly perspective we can see that dollar yen is currently strongly bearish there was a big drop happen from this resistance if you look at the overall picture we see that there is a monthly impulse correction now it is in another impulsive phase now if we take our fibonacci from high to the low we see that dollar yen has reached this resistance line where there is a 38.2 percent fibonacci level and from that zone we see that the market has a rejection now with that rejection currently the price on the monthly level of support now at the same time we see that dollar yen creating at the same time series of higher low as we see that uh, dollar dxy is still weaker and yen also getting little bit of weaker probably upcoming week let's see on the weekly how it is doing now as you can see dollar yen has done exactly as it is according to the analysis we have seen that there's a long dodgy this is the big long dodgy with a long week and healthy body followed by a big bearish candle followed by middleman now with that middleman what we have seen that the price already has broken this important level of support with this doji created a lower high now has created a long week what i think that this week we might see dollar yen moving in a sideway on the lower time frame we might see another doji here any kind of candle that might remain uh, above this support zone as the price already grabbed liquidity from this we might see some bullish move to the upside now if i look at the daily what we see that is you can see the market was dropping along this zone but it has come to a very very important significant level of support this is the doji here forming this support and created a lower high what i think that from here we could see dollar yen might be moving in a sideway or little bit of bullish move on the lower time frame now if i look at uh, intraday we can see that the market has a rejection with this long doji that is a strong liquidity gap penetrating this significant support now what i think in the new trading we might see an inverted head and shoulder along this zone and with that inverted head and shoulder we could see that this market is reversing from here to the upside and might be breaking this high and then we could see that this market consolidating in that zone between this resistance and in this support so with that said what i will be doing will be waiting for a potential uh, reversal from this zone so as soon as we will find a strong bullish trading opportunity only in that case we will be going long on dollar yen with a high probability trade setup now let's look at gold how it is doing now as you have seen gold uh, if i look at this lower time frame first of all uh, we had quite a few winning trades on gold previous week this week and every week now these are the three three trades that we have closed this week as well uh, with proper profit along with another one in the live uh, session as well so let's see now how we can secure more gold trades this week as this market is now highly volatile i'll be looking at first of all monthly perspective looking at monthly on gold we see that this market on the monthly perspective is strongly bullish now at the same time we saw that the market reached an important level of resistance it has crossed a milestone this is the monthly level that lastly visited in 2022 in april which is almost a year and once the price has broken that level we saw that there is a significant reaction from the seller and we saw that there is a, a strong selling pressure has come now this is the monthly candle because the price has crossed a milestone what i think that this is the last week of the month the buyers may hesitate to buy in that market we could see the price again has come to this monthly opening and closing zone and i think that the price might close here along this same opening and closing 
and then we could see another bullish move later so this week that means the last week of the month i think that initially we might see gold is moving to the downside now if i look at the weekly we can see that from the weekly perspective this market is showing bearish more first of all as you can see this is in fact a strong bullish market but the way the price action has formed if you closely look at on the weekly you can see that this is the weekly resistance zone here as well uh, this is the resistance where big move happened to this level where the price has formed a triple bottom and the price has gone to the same resistance zone and created a little bit of higher low that means that because there is a huge liquidity in that zone we could see that gold is having a stronger reaction to the downside now if we consider this big impulse on gold and take our fibonacci from starting of this move to the end of the move we can see that primarily a reaction from 38.2 percent fibonacci level which is the minimum fibonacci level and i think that we might see 50 percent or even 61.8 percent fibonacci level is being retested before going up so that means that this week what i think that gold might drop to the downside to complete a proper pullback and as the price has grabbed liquidity from this significant level we could see a reaction from the top now if i look at the daily we can see that this market how it is doing now from the daily if you closely look at you can see that this is the bull market it was a bullish market candle back to back two days and the price just has broken to the upside last year of trading week and then created a little bit of lower high it couldn't break the daily high instead we saw that the price has immediately rejected now this candle on the daily is a failed attempt from the buyers to create a new higher high that means that because this is the last week of trading week and we see that there is a 38.2 percent fibonacci this is the 50 percent fibonacci for this move and this is 61.8 percent fibonacci level what i think that if we closely go back to the monthly and if you draw this monthly resistance line here and go back to the daily and we saw that this is where 38.2 percent fibonacci level what i think this week we might see that this is the daily chart gold may continue to drop even to this fibonacci level 61.8 percent breaking this middleman's low as this is a smart money zone where the smart money bought there is a, a huge volume in this level liquidity the price might create a lower high this is the probability and then could continue to rise up and the monthly close could be somewhere here and then the price may continue to go up either this or we could see the price at least has come to this 38.2 percent fibonacci level creating a lower high along with this 20 ema and then monthly close here and then the price is pushing to the upside so we can expect gold to create at least a move to the downside so monthly weekly and daily giving a high probability for gold to continue to drop now if i look at further lower time frame on the for our last day of trading week we have seen that there is a, a previous session there is a big middleman bearish and golfer that has in fact um, tested this level and then created this move and with that drop we saw that gold has formed a typical double top formation breakdown we can expect now test of the neckline this is the bottom of this dodgy this green candle is a fake move as you can see the price couldn't create a new higher high instead has been completely rejected what i think in the new trading week the price might break this high this narrow dodge is high exactly may test this support here as a resistance and then could continue to drop to this level what we are expecting for a 38.2 percent fibonacci level so i will be waiting for this level for a potential selling opportunity if we see that gold has given us a strong bearish price action along the zone we will be considered going short with a high probability trade setup with our students now if you want to trade gold euro dollar gbp usd dollar yen and all the instruments that you are trading 
in our forex trading wizard academy and also learn our strategies that we are trading access all the trading tools that we have including this tf or trend following strategy indicator as well as many other trading tools that we have there is a link in the description area you can visit the website join us to become an independent professional profitable trader now let's look at gbp AUD let's see how it is doing looking at monthly now from the monthly perspective we can see that GBP AUD is significantly bullish starting from here this is the big bullish impulse on the monthly we see that there is another monthly candle which is full body green and I think that this market will continue to rise as you can see it's a change of trend happened here there is an inverted head and shoulder and I think this market will continue to rise. Now, if I look at the weekly, we can see that there is already a big weekly impulse to the upside followed by this narrow correction. Now, we can expect this market to continue to rise. Now, if we look at this here, we can see the market already above this resistance line. And what we'll be waiting for the price on the lower time frame to test this resistance as a support and then to continue to go up now if i look at daily we can see that there is already a narrower day, daily candle has formed and we saw quite a few long week candle now the way the price action has formed it might come from the daily it looks like that we might see a deeper drop for a strong liquidity grab and then we could see that the price is going up as from the daily this bullish price action is not as strong enough for for the price to create a new higher high so if we look at further lower time frame we see that this this trend is very weaker we might see a strong drop from here to this level grabbing liquidity and then to go up again so this is the zone that i will be waiting for a retest of this previous resistance here which is turning support along the zone and then the price may continue to rise so as soon as you will find suitable entry opportunity on along the zone on GBP AUD will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students. Now let's look at NZD CAD. Now looking at monthly, now from the monthly perspective, we can see that NZD CAD is strongly bearish now. If you closely look at it, you can see that this market was respecting this resistance line, and quite a few months, whenever the price is reaching that zone we saw that there is a big rejection happen now if i look at the weekly we can see that from the weekly perspective the price this is the last week's candle which has from the resistance zone has a big uh, long week candle it's a it's a bearish angle far from this resistance line what i think that we could see another attempt from the seller and i think this market might continue to drop as we see that the price couldn't break this high instead completely has broken down now if i look at daily we see that the price has formed a head and shoulder here and we could see that this market is dropping to the downside now from the lower time frame perspective we see that nzd cad this price section that we see on the intraday as you can see the price is a strongly bearish full body red candle and what I will be waiting on the new trading week is a little bit of pullback to the upside. Any kind of pullback, probably a dodges, double dodges, any kind of bearish candle will give us a suitable entry for NZD CAD for this move to the downside. We'll be considering going short with a high probability trade setup. Now let's look at dollar Swiss franc looking at monthly. Now we can see that this market also like the DXY weakness also usd chf has shown so far significant bearish move now from the higher time frame we see that dollar swiss franc has created this move followed by this correction we can expect now this market to continue to drop now if i look at weekly we can see that from the weekly there is a lower high and higher low inside bar so we might see initially a little bit of push to the upside and then the price to continue to drop now if i look at daily we can see that usd chf from the daily perspective has formed a very interesting price action you can see there was a big drop 
correction form a double top again another drop now with that drop we see on the daily the price already formed a double top we can expect now the price to go ahead and test this neckline of this previous support down resistance here so this is the support on the um, ULG CHF support down resistance here so as soon as we will find suitable entry opportunity along this zone on the lower time frame if we look at further lower time frame we see that the market already formed a structure which is locally bullish and I will be waiting for the price to go ahead and test this support this uh, support here so resistance here as a resistance and once you will see um, a strong rejection from the top so if we see that the price is rejecting this level with a long bearish candle we'll be considering going short with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at nzd usd now as you can see nzd looks like that a little bit of weaker against usd and against all the pairs we might see this market a little more bearish than any other instrument on against usd now from the monthly we can see this market already after this big drop on the monthly this month so far the price is still on nearly where it has opened so you saw a drop and a price and it's almost in the in the zone where there is an opening and closing now from the uh, weekly perspective we see that nzd usd has created this move with this liquidity gap big drop and we saw this market now in a side view. what i think as we see that initially we might see a weakness in dxy we might see that this market initially dropping with the strengthening of years dxy and we might see another um, bullish attempt we even could see a weekly dodgy here that could form on nzd usd now if i look at the daily we can see that a purely sideway market so this market might remain in a range bound as you can see uh, this is the the support was being respected and also this is the resistance was being respected what i think that as if this is a cleanly range bound market as we saw initially we might strengthening on dx we might see a drop here and from the zone we could see another bullish move so this is the support and resistance strategy resistance strategy that i will be using on nzd usd so as soon as i will find an opportunity we'll consider going long with a high probability trade setup now let's look at usd czar now usd czar as i mentioned in my previous analysis also previous week this market is purely sideway market and we could see that this market as it grabbed liquidity from the resistance slowly we might see some bearish move now looking at weekly this is also we can see that this week also the price was purely in a sideway on the lower time frame there is only narrow range it is forming so this week what i think that we might see again another uh, bullish candle green candle or any kind of dodgy that might remain in a sideway now if i look at daily we see that there is uh, this is the support was being respected quite a while but at the same time it is creating a little bit of lower low and we saw it is creating a lower high so what i will be what i think that is the daily chart um us desire might initially break down grab liquidity and then we could see another bullish move with the uh, lower time frame perspective so from the four hour we see this market is respecting this support and also there is a resistance here so any kind of a false breakout on usd are from this support and then once the price will if the we see the price has broken down again has gone up we'll be waiting for a potential um, bullish setup on usd are as soon as we will find we'll consider going short with a high probability trade setup on the other hand if we see a very strong breakdown with the weakness of dxy and testing this support here support here as a resistance will be considering even going short on usdzar based on the um, current price action in the market i will keep you updated uh, by analysis and using the live streaming so let's look at dollar cad how it is doing now looking at dollar cad on the monthly now from the monthly perspective we can see that usd cad is a bull market and as you can see this is the monthly price section so far it is bullish and let's see what it might do in the upcoming week now from the weekly we see that 
there is there was a weekly impulse followed by back to back two weeks so far it's a narrow range what i think that as we see that we might see weakness in dxy so we initial with the strengthening of dx we might see initial movement to the upside to this resistance and then what i think that we might see another red candle or another dodgy along this zone now if i look at daily we can see that this is the last day of trading week and it's a very interesting price section you can see there's a big um, liquidity gap from the bottom created this long week candle and at the same time we saw that there's a rejection from the top back to back two dodges though it is a bull market what i think that uh, because as you can see this market in, in the dxy is showing weakness what i think that after testing some part we could see another wave of drop and we might see either um, dropping from this level to create a new lower low or moving in a sideway in this narrow range now if i look at further lower time frame we see that uh, this is the uh, manipulation to the upside in the last session of trading we go so there is a, a clean double top formation along this zone if i draw this level we see dollar cad has formed a double top okay this is the double top here now with the double top formation what i think that after a little bit of retracement to the upside we could see that usd cad again coming down so i will be waiting for this kind of price action to be formed so once you we'll see the price has formed a structure here that is bearish only in that situation i'll be going short on dollar cad with a high probability trade setup now let's look at euro dollar looking at monthly now from the monthly we can see that euro usd currently showing so far it is in fact uh, a bull market now we saw that there was a monthly movement to the upside and last this is the last week coming up we saw there is a long week created on euro dollar on the monthly what i think initially we might see little move and then we could see the price will try to go up to fill the week on the monthly now if you look at the weekly we see that this market is typically bullish on the weekly as well there is first of all you can see this is the weekly support zone back to back four weeks liquidity gap creating series of lower high and from this dodgy with the dodgy it has completed an inverted head and shoulder as well and we saw that that this current week that has closed this is a, a bullish candle which is has a long week at the top and we see that there is a, a healthy body with a week at the bottom what i think that euro dollar in the beginning of trading week we might see initially a drop probably will test this top of this week so either we could see a test of this trend line if we draw this uh, level here this is the resistance time support or we could see a test of this level here now this candle as you can see it's a quite sector this is the green dodgy which is forming a neckline of this reversal of this inverted head and shoulder which is the resistance turning support here now if i look at daily we see initially already the price tested this level what i think in the beginning of trading week the sellers might try to sell this again especially along this 20 ema you can see that the price already this is the level that we are expecting this previous resistance here and also acted here as an important level of resistance which is turning support along with this daily 20 ema and also if we take our fibonacci for this move starting of this to the end of the move we see that this is exactly the level which is aligning with 61.8 percent fibonacci level giving a high probability for this price to to be rejected so looking at further lower time frame and we can see that this market on during the news announcement as you have seen forming a double top there is a strong rejection narrow dodgy another rejection we see there back to back two dodges again i will be waiting for initially if we see that euro dollar initially has gone up to this level and giving us a bearish price action along this zone uh, testing of this previous neckline you can see this the narrow dodgy has been violated test created a level of support here if if the price goes up initially then i will look for a short term selling opportunity once we'll see a strong bearish price action confirmation along this level for this move to the downside 
on and then on the other hand if we see initially uh, another drop into this level giving a strong bullish price action if we see it is satisfying that rules of our strategy then we'll consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at us oil let's see what it is doing now us oil as you can see from the higher time frame perspective monthly this market we have seen from the monthly there's a big drop happen now with that drop looks like that us oil might create a bearish move highly likely now this monthly candle as you can see has crossed the previous monthly high close back below what i think this this week the price might pull back to the upside again and then we could see another movement now if i look at the weekly we see that this market already has a big drop this week has a pullback what i think the price might break this high test this previous support here as resistance and we could see that us oil is coming down now if we see the cat chf on the weekly we saw this kind of price action exactly what i think that us oil might be repeating the same kind of pattern breaking this weekly high and then dropping respecting this resistance level now if i look at daily we see this price action looks like that it is preparing for a, a lower time frame reversal to this level and then to continue to drop now if i look at further lower time frame as you can see this price looks like that it might form an inverted head and shoulder and then to continue to rise because this is a long term bearish market once you will see the market has broken this level here and if we see if i look at the weekly you can see this is the very important level of support and resistance any kind of uh, lower time frame price section strong rejection from the top then we will be considered going short on us oil with a high probability trade setup now let's look at indices let's see how it is doing now indices or us 30 starting with we can see that from the monthly this market from the monthly has a strong rejection from the support zone now this this is the this structure is a, a bullish structure if you look at there is a monthly impulse followed by a pattern and we saw a break to the downside so when you see an a struct an impulse followed by a structure break to the downside we can expect now the this price to continue to trend to the upside what i think that this market slowly either move on a sideway on the lower time frame or it might reject from the bottom now if i look at the weekly we can see that there is in fact the price has this is the support here and forming a, a price section that might be moving in a sideway this is the weekly candle we see that it has respected this back to back to level here there is one support here and also with this green candle is forming a level of support and the price respecting this was support as resistance close back below and also it has created a higher low with this one now if i look at daily what i think that us oil pardon me us 30 might range in between this support and resistance on the lower time frame now from the intraday we see the market on us 30 as you can see uh, it is it was moving in fact in this support and resistance so based on how the price actions form if we see that the way this market structure has formed it's a very um, clumsy market structure to trade this kind of market structure what we need this kind of any kind of higher high is broken we'll be looking for potential selling opportunity if us 30 managed to break this high or break this resistance zone and then we'll be looking for selling opportunity on us 30 if we see the market has broken the low this kind of this support zone here clearly you know, overextended we will be waiting for a potential bullish setup as this market move in a support and resistance zone so looking at nasdaq we can see that the nasdaq is doing exactly in the same way as expected from the monthly though we see that us 30 not showing a very, very clear direction we see nasdaq looks like that on the monthly it is in fact a bull market we saw that the price has crossed this dodgy is low cleared an overextended market and then and started to push to the upside and because it created this move what i think that it's a starting of 
a new move to the upside now if i look at weekly we can see that uh, there is a big bullish angle for this bullish angle for in fact is quite significant as you can see it has crossed the support completely to the downside to grab the liquidity and from this bullish engulfer completing a reversal of double bottom breakout followed by a middleman or a doji but i think in the new trading week we could see a bullish move there is one probability or forming a doji along this zone so let's look at now on the daily now from the daily perspective nasdaq as you can see uh, this is also a bullish structure this is the a trend line nasdaq was respecting along this zone and what i think that uh, this is the daily chart we could see in the opening of trading week a pullback to the level of the support and then we can expect nasdaq to continue to rise so looking at further lower time frame we can see um, if i readjust this level on the channel how the price is moving we see that from this level nasdaq was respecting this support and resistance now this is the support here support here support here support here now with that support what i think that nasdaq will respect this level and then will continue to rise so any kind of drop to this support zone on nasdaq we will be waiting for a potential bullish will set up so as soon as we will find suitable entry opportunity along this zone on nasdaq we will be considering going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at btc usd let's see bitcoin now looking at monthly on bitcoin we see that this market is already has created a bullish move to the upside and i think that uh, already you can see six days remaining I think the bulls will try to create further move already it has grabbed liquidity from the bottom of this doji and created a move now it is coming for a pullback this week and then we could see another movement to the upside to the for this bullish move now from the weekly we saw on btc there is a weekly impulse started from here this week as you can see after one day it's it's closing we saw a big bullish angle for followed by a doji it's a continuation pattern we could see that the, after closing of this candle in the next week respecting this support we might see uh, btc usd is pushing high now if i look at daily we can see that this is the market the price was moving along this channel and any kind of break to the downside any kind of liquidity gap on the lower time frame can give us an opportunity to buy BTC USD and from the lower time frame you can see the market already looks like this trend already tired we might see a break to the downside as I mentioned especially this support here is a very powerful and any kind of break over extension uh, or any kind of long week candle along this will give us an opportunity to buy BTC USD looking at ethereum USD now as you can see they mirror each they, they almost um, follow each other copy each other so we see that from the intraday perspective ethereum USD also has formed this level of support and with that support we will be waiting for the price to break create a new lower low and once we will find the opportunity we will be considering going long on ethereum USD with a high probability trade setup with our students now if you want to trade all of them all the forex cryptos and indices in our forex trading wizard academy and also learn our strategies to trade with us access all the trading tools that we have then there is a link in the description area you can visit the website join us to become an independent professional profitable trader and learn our strategies Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon in my next analysis.